Alright guys, we're on. It's gonna be a river monster. Alright guys, so today we're fishing this little area off a bridge. And we're not really going for game fish, we're more trying to get some shad. So we can use them as bait later in the year. I have a shad on here just in case. And we just we just have spoons and spinners on. Some with three hooks on them. And we're just pulling them through the water. If I don't get one, that's gonna be sad. Start the video. I can show you this. All right, we'll do. It. Try that. There's one. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, that's a shad, gizzard shad. I missed one. And they make great catfish bait. I'm not doing good this time. All right, so we have a cast net that we dropped right down there. So I'm going to pause the GoPro and then I'm gonna unpause it and pull it up and Dead here, so we're gonna, we're gonna pull this up and we're gonna show you what we're talking about no we're not we tangled the cast net up uh, damn it okay we're gonna redo it and then we're gonna show you what we're talking about guys so the cast net should be the proper properly seated now so I'm gonna pull it up and we're gonna see how many shad we have Okay, it was caught on something, just kidding. But those look like good shad from as live baits. I'm gonna take them. And we got some minnows, so we're gonna see what kind they are. Let's bring them in. What would you rather get, minnows or shad? Ah, shad are fun. So right here, this is the gizzard shad. Little, couple little guys. And some minnows. You know what? I'll just take the minnows. You can never have too many of those. Ah. And these are emerald shiners, if you were wondering. And we're gonna cast this back out right here. It's a lot deeper right there. And hopefully, we won't get caught on the wall and we'll be able to get more than one shad. Too shit. Damn, it's getting away. We got a runner. And I don't know if you could hear that, but just look. Those are all shad jumping. We're coming to the top to get food. Just constant. And we're snagging them. It's ridiculous how many you can get. You can show them the seagulls too. Yeah, the seagulls are just dive bombing the hell out of them. David's about gonna cast out, and he's probably about to get a snag a shad so we'll see yeah, out of the now. I can't tell if this is tangled oh I gotta stick it stuff oh. yeah I tangled it I got one so oh no I didn't okay oh alright there you go so as you I, I literally just dropped that down and about five seconds later I'm pulling up and here we go I'm not gonna keep all of these Here's a, a bigger shad, a little bigger. Don't drop him. That's a nice little guy. It's a little guy. Here's a little bigger one. Keep four of those guys. Just send them back on their merry way. We already have a bag full of them from the first time we cast netted them. So, I'm fishing for uh, things for the tank now. And we're going to see if we can't catch another species of fish besides shad or minnows. We're not going to count those right now. Bam, just like that. I'll get my pole and I'll, I'll cast and I'll show you how quick it is to get get these bad boys. Is that in the bottom? I can't tell. Is it on the bottom? I think it is. Alright, that's on the bottom. I'm going to tie that up so it doesn't get all tangled up. And gross. And then we'll be back. Alright guys, so I catch him on the rod. There's a log right there, get away from that. 
All right, let's see. Ooh, ah, they come off so easy, and you, they come on so easy. There we. Just kidding. All right, just casting in the middle of them jumping. Let it get sink a little bit, and then giving the little tug. I just lost three in a row. Let's try right there. Did I get him? No. Alright, of course when I'm recording, I miss them all. Felt one hit. Oh, it's ah, oh, what came off right there? You saw it. There we go. All right, finally got one. Gizzard Chad, you wanna let him go? Oh, Alright, David's got another one right there. He's gonna get nailing them. Oh. Oh, I just lost two decent ones. I got three. Hey, maybe get two and one like me. Yeah, he got two and one. I'm gonna see if I can match. I might throw on a bigger spoon because then I'll definitely be able to get two and one. Oh, you crossed me. Just a little bit. Over here. My aquarium bucket. Oh, here we go. This one feels decent. Nope. Another sh oh, probably a bad angle. There. It's a gizzard shad right there. Should I do a rooster tail or should I do multiple hooks? How many hooks can you have on that one? Yeah. Just move spots to the other side. I think I got something on here. Oh, it's a log. Damn, look at all those ducks. Jeez. Alright, cut a log. Let me unhook it. Look at that. Oh, that's a big one. Send it on his merry way. I bent the hook. Right 
there. Bam, all fixed up. Let's give a caster 200 a bridge. And then I think that's going to be all for today's video. So let's hope we can get a fish. Oh, I missed one. So this is what I'm taking home. We got a bunch of minnows and a couple shad. There we go. There we go, little shad. Send him on his way. They're really hanging out in the, uh, the shade. There we go. That's right in the mouth. Look at that. A little bit bigger one. I've got plenty of these as bait now that I saved up. Ooh, perfect. Right in the shade. They stack up right there. Alright, we'll do one more cast here. That should produce a fish. Let's, let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's off. Alright, maybe that isn't the last cast. We're gonna get one more fish and we'll pull this net up. Wow. Can't say I've seen something like that before. There we go. Alright, got our one more shed. Let's pull this net up. Look at that, the amount of shed in here is just absolutely ridiculous. back my head I'll let these shad go and that, that's gonna be all for today's video hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching give the video a like if you enjoyed and until next time